Ogre Pixel. I love that little sprite. Ogre Pixel, 2014-2017. Huh, he's only three years old. Black Tower Enigma. Do you dare enter the Black Tower? I believe that we shall. So, uh, right before we get into this game, I want to mention the incredible difficulties I've had getting it to work. Uh, it's not the game's fault, necessarily. I've played this game on Firefox, signed into Newgrounds, doing my thing, and I beat the game, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to go back, reload the page, start recording. And it gives you an option. It'll say, continue or new game. And even if you click the mouse on new game, it goes right back to the last level, like you clicked continue. If you click on the settings button, it goes right to the last level, like you clicked continue. If you click anywhere in the uh, screen, it goes right into the game. Now, I think it's a problem because this was originally an iOS game, um, like an app, an iPhone app or what have you. And so it's it's not, they just kind of ported it over like crap, I guess, such that it doesn't actually do what you want it to. So uh, I opened it up in uh, Chrome, and on Chrome, and I don't know why, uh, it said it didn't load properly. The game showed up, but no sound. It played no music, no sound effects. And I said, well, that's not fair. And so now I finally, in a private browsing window in Firefox, have gotten it to load with the new game rather than forcing me back into the last level of the game all over again. With that out of the way, watch me click the settings button and it go right into the game. And by the way, I can use the arrow keys. The arrow keys do nothing, okay? Just so you know. It's not like I'm supposed to be using the arrow keys to get over to this button. Click. My wife was kidnapped and taken up to the skies. The responsible... The responsible was a magic dress gifted by a mysterious fairy. The responsible. So... <laughs> Obviously, we're not talking about a, an English as a first language developer, which is fine. Uh, most of everything else in this game is actually good. It's just a shame that literally the first screen of the game has such an error in it. I am at Enigma Tower. Tower should be probably capitalized, because you'd think Enigma Tower is the name of the tower. The tallest building known in the continent. I trust that at the top of the tower I will find the way to her. My wife. In war times, my story begins. That's actually kind of cool. In war times, my story begins. I am Wego, a common orc with a terrible misfortune. My name. <laughs> it is terribly misfortunate that my name is Wego. Nothing will stop me. Introduction. All right, so you do walk around in the game using the arrow keys. And there is a little... Man, it feels like it's a little bit choppy uh, since I've set up the recording. The game looked a little smoother when I played through it. And you use the space bar to interact. Purple Book. The King Luminar, blinded by anger, started the war against the orcs. Aw. Nothing inside. Nothing inside. You can turn the torches off. Nothing inside. Turn it off. The witch meetings, where they gather their magic and amazing things happen, are exactly at 1,200 hours, 1,500 hours, and 1,800 hours. Middle-class orcs are the working class. Most are honest and hardworking. That should probably be a semi... No, well, no, it can't be a semicolon. Can it? Middle-class orcs are the working class. Semicolon. Most are honest and hardworking. Yeah, I think that could be a semicolon. This is a mirror. Today you look fine. Heck yeah, I'm looking fine. There's a clock. It tells you it's 2212. It is actually 2212 right now as I play this, and I gotta get ready for bed soon. Turn off the brazier. An intelligence challenge sometimes shows a man how smart he would have been not to have taken it. Dun dun dun. Alright, so in this first room, just an introduction room, we read all the books and whatnot. There's nothing in anything. Excuse me, I'm gonna yawn because it's late at night, uh, relatively late, and I really, really want to turn that torch off, but I actually can't reach it. I have tried, and I cannot find a way to get to it. 
But if you pull this, suddenly... A huge racket and the screen shakes as a staircase erupts from the floor. Oh, did we talk about that it's just a statue? It's just a statue. Okay, so there's a very quick transition between the rooms, and if you just kind of hold the button down a little too long, you end up going through the room and then right back down the stairs. Never liked that. Anyway, turn the torch off. Turn the torch off. Turn the torch off. Turn the torch off. And we find that nothing actually happens. So this is how we learned that turning the torches off is a fun little gimmick, but doesn't actually do anything. We will work our way around the room. Nothing interesting. A long, long time ago, in a galaxy far away, longer than anyone can remember, there was a beauty fairy. This is a special type of fairy. Not like a bottle fairy, it's a beauty fairy. She was the most beautiful among the fairies. Her name was Coronia. Yes, it was. What time is it? It is 22.14. It is said that reading will help anyone who dares escape from this tower. Not all the clues are in the same floor. Probably should say on the same floor, but... I bet you there's nothing in this bottle, in this uh, jar. Oh, there's nothing in there. An old gambler used to say that good luck lasts, a lasts just a little. Use it when it comes. Okay. A long, long time ago, in a galaxy far away, three triplets born with three eyes. They say there was a dark magic in the water. Yeah, probably something radioactive. There is an elf king who has not shown his true colors. That's right that he hasn't. Nothing's in there. Nothing's in there. Okay, so in this case, we've got three giant dice. Those are conspicuous. And we have a lever that does nothing. So we have to figure out what numbers do we need to show on the dice. Now, we got super duper lucky this time because the numbers we need to show are three triplets with three eyes. Magic in the water. You can see there's like this little water thing in the middle. The first time I did this, I got, I tried, like I randomly rolled each die once and then nothing happened. And then I was thinking, well, it's got to be some numbers. And I tried like three, four, five and two, three, four. And then I was like, well, none of that makes sense. And then I remembered there was this thing about triplets and uh, the three eyes. And I'm like, oh, that's kind of obvious. And I had to sit here and hit the dice for, you know, several seconds each in order to get it to come up three. And this time with one roll, we've gotten a three on each of them. Done, 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 done. Uh, one of the other ones I tried, which I'm going to show you. Now we get to see how long it's going to take. Um, there we go. And I bet you can guess what that one is. Oh, it won't let you do it. Okay, so if you're going to play through this game, um, go ahead and try this one. Because it automatically resets when you come back into the room. So it's not like I, I'd have to go back and do it all over again. Turning the lever will move the ball to its original position. So we're going to go ahead and shove the ball. And then we're going to hit the lever and the ball goes back to normal. Nothing there. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Purple book. Efade, the Luminar King's daughter, has been kidnapped. <gasps> Poor girl. Oops. This one. The spirit trapped in the tower was, once, the most powerful man on Earth. See, that's awesome. What a terrible story. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't a great story. There wasn't much to it. It's kind of like a single-sentence statement of fact. There are many types of switches. Hand switches, weight switches, automatic switches, etc. Not really in this game, though. In the beginning, you need a heart and a diamond. By the end, a club and a spade. So in the beginning, you need a heart and a diamond. So you're in love with someone. And so you're, you have your heart. And then you bring a diamond because you want to get married to them. But then you need a club and a spade. So everybody knows that a club is used to smack the other person in the skull and kill them. And then you have to bury the body. And you can use a spade to dig up a grave. Perfect. It all makes sense. It's all coming back to... Whoa. Oh my gosh. All right. The last time I did this, the ball moved much slower, and I was not, uh, I didn't cause it to go gazoom all the way over there. Get in there. Get in there. Come on. Well, I guess we'll be extra careful and put this box here. Boonk. 
Boom. There we go. You can move, by the way, during that cutscene. You are not stuck in place when the staircase arises. The march. Okay, so, once again, the time. Every time we've checked the time, it's been two minutes later. Nothing interesting inside. Bodag, the elf king, did something serious and wicked. He totally did a kickflip off a half pipe. The order of the universe is like music. There must exist for there to be harmony. The order of the universe is like music. Must exist for there to be harmony. Not, I don't think that technically counts as a sentence. I think you need a couple more words in there. Some say the inventors of the bells were dwarves. Others say it was the elves. Dun dun dun. Oops. In the Rose War, Tila the Strong died first. After him, Tora the Strong died too. After them, Lori the Middle died. The sounds of war still are heard. Dun dun dun. Okay, so we have these rather uh, conspicuous Easter Island heads here, labeled one, two, and three. So let's listen. Kind of like a middle part of a song. Yep, there's kind of like a beginning part of a song. And that's kind of like the ending part of a song, is it not? So, hopefully you are all well acquainted with classical music. But even if you're not, I think it kind of makes sense that... Please let me get over here. Nope. There we go. Nope. We're kind of... That happened to me the first time I played this level, too. Um, I had trouble moving the heads around into the correct position because if you move them up a little bit too high, it gets stuck and you can't get around behind it, so it just did it again. I think that's kind of a problem with a game like this. Yes, I know it's kind of like puzzle solving, but the puzzle shouldn't be how high up does the hitbox go for this thing, which ideally should be, you know, based on the base of it, not on the top of it. But I guess they're just using simple rectangles as a hitbox. So do that. Do that. And then hit the button. Dun, dun, dun. My name is Wego, and I want to go up the stairs to find my captured wife. This thing on... This thing, all things devours. This thing, all things devours. It, it, at first glance, it seems wrong, but it's, it's correct. Birds, beasts, trees, flowers, gnaws iron, bites steel, grinds hard stones to meal, slays king, ruins town, and beats mountain down. And the answer, of course, is the little girl Sunny from Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events. But an acceptable backup answer would be time. It's a man's picture. There was a powerful wizard who liked to see nothing but himself reflected in water. This is your story. You have a major challenge to end this. Yeah, you do. This is an awful room. Water flows southeast. High statue. Okay, so you have this room, and it says that a wizard likes to look at himself in water. And what do you know? We've got kind of a picture of a dude, and we've got buckets of water not buckets but like you know baths of water here and there's also a mirror in the corner and we have a clue that says water flows southeast and so it's like well what can you do you can literally walk around all you want and touch everything in this room and nothing's going to happen the problem here is the clues were not uh, they're not very good clues to put in this room if you want the person to figure out what to do and this is a very difficult thing um, you have to, if you remember on the first floor, we were told about the witching hour and this level is called the moment and it has this very prominent clock. And so what you have to do, and this is awful, is open up your date and time setting and change your date and time to one of the witching hours. Click, click, and then the clock will make a noise. And then it will open up and uh, it will get you there. And then you got to go back in here and go and change the settings and update your time so that you can get put your time back to normal. So there we go. It is an awful room and it took forever to figure that out. 
All right, so in here we've got these little majigs. And these ones reveal nothing. All right, let's read some books. Books. <laughs> I don't know if anybody would know about this, but when I was in uh, elementary school... Was it elementary school? No, it was June... Elementary school or June... Elementary school. I take it all back. It was totally elementary school. Uh, they had a skit put on by the kids where uh, they were talking about like reading is fundamental and everything. And then they had kind of like a rap and they were like, books, ch check them out. Yeah, books, check them out. And I'm always reminded of that. It's dumb, but it's always... It's always in the forefront of my mind. Legend says that mirrors are magic items that increase the ego. Yeah, that's right. Fairies are magical creatures that can take different shapes. That's also correct. Three for three? Legend says that hail Legend says that hill once was one of the giants of the world who decided to rest. Andy yawn. Oh, they mentioned giants resting, and I'm a giant, and I'm tired. Coronia the fairy is responsible for this, but not the war. Responsible for this. What, this tower? Okay, so what do we got back here? Here we got a mirror, a dude, and a mirror. Nope. And on this side, we have a picture of a dude. Two pictures of a dude and another mirror. Well, it did say that a wizard liked to look at himself, although it also said in a pool of water. But there you go. There is a wizard looking at himself in a mirror across the hallway. So we go up the stairs, and we get to La Sala de Arme. Earth moves northeast. Nobody knows and nobody can explain the origin of the crying pillar in the old Efade church. Wasn't Efade the name of the girl that were one of the... the... Laminar's daughter? It is good to interact with all things. You have to be curious. I also feel like that should be a semicolon. There's a sword, but I can't grab it. I bet the sign's going to tell me that pulling the lever puts the ball back into its place. Turning the lever will move the ball to its original position. Now, see, that's the trick. A lot of people think you're supposed to pull the lever. But no, this one's a twist. you got to turn that lever. All right, what do we got here? On top of this tower, there is a desperate lady. But she is not alone. But she is not alone. For I am here with her. Though we're far away, I am here to say that girl is not alone. Okay, that did not work out very well. All right. Like I said, the last time I did this, the ball moved way better. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. Nope, it did it to me. This is interesting. I literally got both of the uh, ball puzzles we've done so far in one go. It took no effort at all to get these done the first time. And now we're having, like, tons of effort going into it. That seems like a bad idea to move that clock, but we'll see. Okay. <gasps> no! Oh no. Uh. Uh. Perfect. It worked. I didn't have to go down the staircase. Yay! Alright, run back. Go, we go, go. Go, go, we go. Go, go, we go. Wind blows southwest. So if you've been keeping track, water flows southeast, earth travels northeast, and wind goes southwest. Wind loves to fly southwest because you get two checked bags for free. Along with the girl, there is a beautiful woman who misses her husband. Hey, there's a girl on top of the tower. And there's a woman who misses her husband. And I'm a guy who's missing his wife. I wonder if these things are related. Queens can attack each other, but they will never get hurt. Aw. Ogres were solitary creatures that lived in the forests. There has not been seen one in years. My gosh. That, uh, the mention of ogres reminded me of the giant who went to sleep and became a hill. So, if you remember way back in the day, they mentioned that we need a heart and a diamond before we use our club to smash someone over the head 
and bury their dead body with a spade. Boom! See, when you come up with cute little stories like that, it helps you to remember things. Things. Die, monster! Oh no, not me! Poor Wego! You do not belong in this world. <laughs> I'm a working class orc. I'm one of the better people. Okay, so up here we've got... Sometimes it takes some time for the deceased to understand its new condition. Am I already dead? Did I already die? That would be upsetting. Coronia knows that you are the only one who can solve this situation. Only you can solve forest fires. The best pipes of the region are made from Bayart Briar. Okay, so, if we go back in time. We remember that we had a clue about either dwarves or elves creating bells. Well, here we have bells, but nothing to hint as to whether there are dwarves or elves. So that's no help. I'm trying to think if there was any other clue that could possibly bear onto this puzzle. And I'm not really getting one. I know there was a weeping statue in a church. There's a missing girl, the, the daughter of the king who's warring against the orcs. Uh, there's a hill, a giant sleeping underneath a hill. Um, there was an elf king who did wicked things. There's another king, uh, another elf king they mentioned who didn't show his true colors. Nothing really fits this, but uh, I actually solved this by brute force. You can ring a bell three times. One, two, three. But you can only ring any combination of bells three times. So you get basically three rings. You can go one, 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 or two, one, zero, etc., etc. Um, and so I I went through all of the combinations and I found that one, one, well, yeah, one, one, two is what opens it up. And I literally at this point, and I say literally because it is literally true, walked all the way back down through the tower reading every clue again, and none of them really fit with one exception. There was one that said that like Tira the Strong died, and then Tila, different Tora or whatever, the Strong died, and then the middle one died. And that would be 1-1 one, one middle, but there's nothing in this room to kind of indicate that this is Strong Bell versus, you know, well, Middle Bell is self-evident, but I don't quite grasp how you're supposed to figure that room out other than brute force it. Because the clue doesn't make any sense. All right, so here's the queen room. We got a picture of a dude. We've got... Now we know who the real guilty is. You must hurry. Okay, that's not quite a sentence. Legend says that at the beginning, the tower was supported by eight white elephants. The great Bayart forest seems lonely, but definitely it is not. Uh-oh. Fire rises northwest. So now we know where all the elements go. And this is a simple queen puzzle. Um, we're going to want to do this, this, get this one all the way to the end, and put this one in the second position. So basically, if you move the queens as queens, which means uh, up, down, left, right, or along the diagonals, none of the queens touches another queen. So nothing, 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 nothing. Nothing, 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 etc., etc., etc. And uh, even though it said queens can attack each other, none will get hurt. In this case, we want them to all not attack each other? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, and then over on this wall, because it needs to have the maximum amount of walking through things that you can accidentally push, uh, is the switch that we push. Or we turn, potentially. Alright, so this is Luanto Hall. There are a con uh, conspicuous two women up here. Can't touch them. All right. Uh, now, one of the things I don't like about this game is the entire time we've had these pots that say nothing inside, whereas this one has a switch. And these platforms don't appear until you hit that switch. So the game has spent every level, every floor up to this point basically reinforcing, hey, there's nothing in these. There's no point in checking them anymore. And then makes you rely on checking it at the end. That's kind of a jerk move. Hi, honey. I knew you would come. 
We are fine. Let us get out of here as soon as possible. That's more than one sentence. Lord, you came to save us. I want to be with my father. Save us. Okay, you have a weird looking god, lady. Giant green orc. All right, can you remember where all the things go? I can. Wind blows southwest because it flies. Can I walk through this? No. Yeah, that's a, something that's going to block me. Um, I think... I think... I want to reset this level real quick. Just to make it easier to push this stuff around. Okay, so hit that. Perfect. We need to get water over here. There we go. And then fire... over here. Can I get up, up past it? Yay, I can. Okay. Uh, let's push this straight down. And put the fire over here. There we go. Okay, now here's the one that can cause us trouble. I'm doing this a different way than the first time I did it. I'm going to push it just past. And then push it up. And then push it over. And then click the button. Stone slab. To freedom! Yeah, it looks like a gravestone. Thanks for that. And these are, yet again, just statues. So this is the answer to the last puzzle. And then we teleport to the ground with the ladies. And there we are. Thank you so much. Did my father send you to rescue me? Nope. Your father? Uh, your father. He did not. I did kidnap the wife of this poor orc and take it to the top of the tower. Yeah, my wife is an it. Thanks, lady. Your father is attacking the orcs right now. I will take you in to your father and you will explain everything. This war must end. And of course, the best way to stop a war is to kidnap innocent people. As for you, I want to apologize for all that happened. I knew that Wego was the only one who could overcome the tower challenges. Hey, you know what could also help overcome the tower challenges? Uh, not kidnapping people. I wish you the best. See you soon. La 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 la. And she disappears. So, essentially, what this girl's going to go back and say is, Hey, Dad. A fairy kidnapped me, locked me in her tower, and then kidnapped an orc woman and locked her in the tower with me. And then the orc, her uh, orc husband came and rescued us. And then the uh, king is going to say, oh, well, my daughter, I suppose that I shall stop my war against the orcs. Because if you remember through the lore, King Laminar, or whatever his name was, was attacking the orcs and created and had this war going. And then his daughter was kidnapped, and we just rescued his daughter. So he's going to be like, oh, an orc rescued you? Well, then I better stop my war against the orcs. And instead lay siege to the fairies, because they are the weirdos who kidnapped my daughter. And an orc woman. Stupid people. Now that I am with my wife... Oh, now that I am with my wife and the king with his daughter, the attacks to the orcs have finished. The real culprits will be punished. And that would be, of course, Coronia the fairy. We will look a far distant place to live in peace. We will look a far distant place. Maybe that hill with the legend about the dead giant would be good. See you soon. Wish you were here. Black Tower Enigma by Ogre Pixel. Director, Esteban Duran. Producer, Esteban Duran. Designer, Esteban Duran. Programmer, Esteban Duran. I'm noticing a pattern here. Artist, Esteban Duran. Writer, Gabriela Godinez Ferrell. Composer, Pablo Godinez Ferrell. I wonder if they're related. Special thanks to Laura Duran Godinez, Gabriela Godinez Ferrell, Mercedes Yanez, Adriana Duran, and Oscar Duran. J. Israel Vasquez, J. Luis Hidalgo Leonidas. Omar Guerrero, Beto Rosado, and Toyo. Oh, to you. <laughs> I knew that was that. Developed by OgrePixel 2014. www.ogrepixel.com. 
this game, uh, it took longer the second time to play through it almost than the first time. And the first time I was having to figure out the puzzles. Anyway, yep, this has been Black Tower Enigma. We have rescued our orc wife. We have set free the daughter of the king. And now the orcs and humans have formed an alliance to crush the fairies. Until next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>